For over four decades, the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, known as UNIFIL, has been a symbol of peace and stability in a region often marred by conflict. Established in 1978, UNIFIL's presence in South Lebanon marked an international commitment to de-escalating tensions and fostering a safe environment for all. But what exactly prompted this long-standing peacekeeping mission? The roots of UNIFIL's presence can be traced back to the complexities of the Israeli-Lebanese conflict. In 1978, following an incursion by Israeli forces into Lebanon, the UN Security Council passed Resolution 425, calling for Israel's withdrawal and the creation of UNIFIL. The primary objective, to confirm Israeli withdrawal, restore peace and security, and assist the Lebanese government in reasserting its authority in the area. Since then, UNIFIL has played a critical role in monitoring the volatile border between Lebanon and Israel, known as the Blue Line. Their presence has served as a buffer, preventing escalation and fostering dialogue. However, the path to peace is rarely smooth. Today, UNIFIL faces new challenges as tensions flare once again. The question arises, why are these peacekeepers, who have dedicated themselves to protecting others, now finding themselves under fire? The fragile peace in South Lebanon has recently been shaken by a surge in violence, placing UN peacekeepers directly in the line of fire. Recent clashes between Israel and Hezbollah have intensified, bringing renewed instability to the region. This escalation has manifested in rocket attacks, airstrikes, and cross-border incursions. Caught in the crossfire, UNIFIL peacekeepers are facing an increasingly dangerous environment. Their presence, once a symbol of stability, has become a target, putting their lives at risk. To understand the current crisis, it's crucial to unravel the intricate web of accusations and counter-accusations between Israel and Hezbollah. Each side points the finger at the other, blaming them for violating agreements and instigating violence. Hezbollah is using UNIFIL's presence as a shield, deliberately launching attacks from civilian areas near UN positions. Their actions endanger not only Israeli citizens, but also the lives of the very peacekeepers meant to protect them. Israel's airstrikes and military incursions violate Lebanese sovereignty. They are using the pretext of our presence to justify their aggressive actions against Lebanon, further destabilizing the region. Adding fuel to the fire, both sides accuse each other of violating the UN-brokered ceasefire agreement that ended the 2006 Lebanon War. This agreement, known as UN Security Council Resolution 1701, called for the disarmament of all armed groups in Lebanon, including Hezbollah, and for the Lebanese government to exercise full control over its territory. The lack of a unified narrative and the constant exchange of blame make it challenging to pinpoint the sole aggressor. This intricate web of accusations underscores the need for impartial investigations and international pressure to ensure accountability and prevent further escalation. But how has the international community responded to this volatile situation? The recent escalation in South Lebanon has sparked widespread condemnation from the international community. Governments and international organizations are voicing their concern, urging all parties to exercise restraint and return to dialogue. The United Nations Security Council has condemned the violence and called for an immediate ceasefire. They have reiterated their unwavering support for UNIFIL and demanded that all parties respect the blue line and the safety of peacekeepers. The United States, a key ally of Israel, has expressed deep concern over the escalating tensions. While acknowledging Israel's right to self-defense, the U.S. has also urged restraint and stressed the importance of protecting UNIFIL peacekeepers. The European Union has echoed these sentiments calling for an end to hostilities and a return to dialogue. They have emphasized the need for a political solution to the underlying conflict, recognizing that military action alone cannot bring lasting peace. The international community's unified response underscores the gravity of the situation. The calls for restraint and dialogue signal a desire to prevent further bloodshed and find a peaceful resolution to the crisis. But what exactly is the role of UNIFIL in this complex environment? And how does their mandate factor into the current situation? Amidst the escalating tensions, UNIFIL remains a beacon of hope, striving to fulfill its mandate of maintaining peace and security in South Lebanon. But what exactly does their mandate entail, and how are they navigating the current challenges? UNIFIL's mandate, as defined by the UN Security Council, is multifaceted. Their primary responsibilities include 
monitoring the cessation of hostilities. UNIFIL acts as a buffer between Lebanon and Israel, patrolling the Blue Line to prevent violations and deter aggression. Supporting the Lebanese Armed Forces, UNIFIL assist the LAF in maintaining security along the Blue Line and extending its authority throughout South Lebanon. Facilitating humanitarian access, UNIFIL works to ensure the delivery of humanitarian aid to those in need, particularly in areas affected by conflict. However, the current escalation has placed significant strain on UNIFIL's ability to fulfill its mandate. The presence of heavily armed groups operating in close proximity to their positions poses a constant threat to their safety and hinders their operations. Despite these challenges, UNIFIL remains committed to its mission, working tirelessly to de-escalate tensions, protect civilians, and create conditions conducive to a lasting peace. Their efforts underscore the indispensable role of peacekeeping in mitigating conflict and fostering stability in a region yearning for peace. The recent escalation in South Lebanon serves as a stark reminder of the region's fragility. It highlights the importance of UNIFIL's presence as a stabilizing force, preventing the situation from spiraling into a full-blown conflict. UNIFIL's role extends beyond simply monitoring the Blue Line. They act as mediators, facilitating communication between Lebanon and Israel, and working to build trust between communities divided by decades of conflict. Their presence provides a sense of security to the local population, many of whom have experienced the horrors of war firsthand. UNIFIL's humanitarian efforts, including medical assistance, infrastructure repair, and support for local farmers, contribute to rebuilding lives and fostering reconciliation. The international community's recognition of UNIFIL's importance is evident in the widespread calls for their protection and the condemnation of any attacks against them. Their continued presence is crucial for preventing further escalation, protecting civilians, and creating space for a political solution to take root. However, UNIFIL cannot achieve these goals alone. A lasting peace requires a commitment from all parties involved to engage in dialogue, address the root causes of the conflict, and work towards a negotiated settlement. While UNIFIL plays a critical role in maintaining stability, a lasting solution to the conflict in South Lebanon requires addressing the underlying political issues that fuel the cycle of violence. The long-standing conflict between Israel and Hezbollah, rooted in territorial disputes and ideological differences, cannot be resolved through military means alone. A sustainable peace requires a commitment to dialogue, compromise, and a willingness to address each other's legitimate security concerns. The international community has a crucial role to play in facilitating such dialogue. By providing a platform for negotiations, mediating between parties, and offering incentives for peaceful resolution, international actors can help create an environment conducive to progress. Furthermore, addressing the humanitarian crisis in the region is paramount. The ongoing conflict has resulted in displacement, economic hardship, and psychological trauma for countless civilians. Providing humanitarian assistance, rebuilding infrastructure, and fostering economic development are essential for healing wounds and creating a more stable and prosperous future. Ultimately, a lasting peace in South Lebanon requires a multi-pronged approach that combines security measures, political dialogue, and humanitarian assistance. Only through a concerted effort by all stakeholders can the cycle of violence be broken and a brighter future secured for the region. The situation in South Lebanon serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the constant threat of violence. As tensions escalate and UN peacekeepers find themselves caught in the crossfire, the need for a peaceful resolution has never been more urgent. UNIFIL, with its long-standing commitment to maintaining stability and protecting civilians, remains an indispensable actor in this volatile region. Their presence provides a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness, but they cannot achieve lasting peace alone. The international community must continue to condemn violence, demand accountability from all parties, and actively support UNIFIL's efforts. Diplomatic channels must be fully utilized to facilitate dialogue, address the root causes of the conflict, and work towards a negotiated settlement. We must remember that behind the headlines and political rhetoric lie real people whose lives are torn apart by conflict. It is our collective responsibility to amplify their voices, support their aspirations for peace, and work tirelessly to create a world where security and stability are not distant dreams, but a lived reality. What are your thoughts on the situation in South Lebanon? 
Share your views in the comments below and participate in our survey on the role of UN peacekeeping in conflict zones. Together, let us raise our voices for peace and stand in solidarity with those working to build a brighter future for the region.